Yes, another Coin Ops build, Coin Ops Legends 2. In this video, I'll tell you what's the difference between Coin Ops Legends 1 and 2, and whether it's worth downloading or not. We're going to go ahead and check out the new themes. We'll check out the games and the improvements. Uh, we'll start with the README files and what exactly has changed, then we'll check out the themes, and then we're going to check out the games and my final thoughts. It'll go in that order. But as you can see here, it is a thing of beauty. And uh, they did a really good job on this one. And they just continue to make better themes and better optimized emulation for your PC and a front end. Coin Ops is back. <clears throat> yes, another build. This one is not just new themes. It's new themes, new games. So here it is. Uh, new fixes, all kinds of stuff. So um, you can open up any of these files here to open up different filtered. And, you know, like this one is all plus your favorites, all plus your last played. Uh, just the legend games, just your arcade games. You could do filtered things like that. You can even do like only Capcom games. Now the themes, there's you might well first off, you're like okay, this looks the same to me. Why should I get Players Legend Two versus Player Legends One? And I was wrong about the last video. Thank you for I do read the comments and check stuff that you know. Yes, this is a plug and play build, but you can also build on top of it. But here's the changes right here that it plays upon with 420 arcade games up from 173, 30 new console games with game-specific bezels, uh, 22 NES and 8 Genesis are the 30, and then now you have the PC gamer uh, capabilities for bring your own PC games. So those are like games that you have in Steam and stuff like that. And then four additional themes. So you have three classic cabinet themes and one muted attract mode. So let's check those out for sure in this video. Um, file size, let's check that out really quick. So you got to make a download. The download is about 20 gigabytes. And then when you, uh, when you extract it, it's 21.1. Okay. Once you, you just got to unrar it with WinZip and then you're done. So let's go ahead and do all plus favorites to start. All right. So on first boot, it looks like it's horizontal, um, the horizontal on the top. What do they call this? Top horizontal. Let's see. Themes. So it's got to be top horizontal. Let's see what regular is compared to muted. So remember, the muted one is new. I do know that fast means that when you hard scroll. Ah, so no sounds. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it's literally just the audio is muted. Okay, but you notice when I hard scroll here, see how you see all these games, right? You see all the, the little images in the background. When you switch to fast, it, uh, let me just make sure I click that. You'll notice that now look at, as I hard scroll, as I scroll through these games, you notice I'm, it just keeps the background for Alter Beasts, right? Keeps the background for, uh, for Battle Zone, keeps the background for Cabal, right? So, Fast is just much more optimized fast, right? You're not going to get any lag in the menu system. Now, the other new themes, I guess they're the ones that have been modified, right? So date modified 318. So must be these ones here then. So you got wheel and cab, wheel and cab fast, and marquee and cab. So let's go ahead and start with this one, Marquee and Cab. If you want to see all these other themes, I already did a video on Corn Ops Legends version one, and it's going to be the same, right? So let's start with Marquee and Cab, and then go to Legends here. Ooh, yeah. You guys knew I liked the, uh, I liked the Marquee one last time. It was one of my favorites. So just the artwork on here is just so cool, you know? If you ever own your own arcade, you know, the marquee is just so cool. A lot of detail they put in the marquees. And especially they light up, you know, they're cool. Okay, so that one you get a marquee and a cabinet, right? You get the cabinet that's changing to the specific theme of the game. And you also have the, um, the cabinet as well. The cabinet and the marquee on the right side. Now you have a wheel and cab fast versus not fast. So I'm going to go not fast because, I, you know, my computer can handle fast. Okay. Plus, it looks better, right? It's just fast as if you need to optimize or, you know, you want to be faster. Okay. So, this one, you just have a wheel and the cabinet. So, the cabinet changes with the wheel art. All right. So, let's go ahead and go through this really quick. 
So 450 games total. Remember, there's like 30 of them, they're consoles. And uh, this is one of them. You know, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I'm pretty sure it's the SNES version. But this is cool too. Brand new custom bezels for the game. Yeah, so this is Super Nintendo. So pretty cool that it has a custom bezel. It's like Super Star Wars again, a Nintendo game. And look at that custom theme. Uh, so these are actually all the, the console games here in the back side. Let's just look at the Super Punch Out, Super Metroid, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World, Super Mario All Stars, Ghosts and Ghouls, Castlevania, R Type 3, Rocky and Rocky, Ninja Warriors, Mega Man. It's actually really cool to see these custom cabinets on the left side here of like what it would look like, you know, if it was a cabinet. So these are like totally uh, mocked up, you know? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, I just jumped letters. Um, yeah, give me some more Contra cabinets. Now, there was some Sonic games for the arcade, so... More Contra. And then now we're on to MAME. So cool on the artwork. I mean, I wish the cabinets were a little different. Um, I guess like the the video snap is kind of like in a CRT like, uh, like a CRT like shape here, kind of kind of curved a little bit. Um, but you could tell like all of these console games have the same kind of similar style. It would be you know like when you go to arcade games, like you can see like some arcade games really took like a different. Um, Hold on, let me get the arcade games here. You can see, like, some are vertical. Uh, I guess they're all kind of in a T. Yeah, see, like, some of them took on way different kind of looks. Yeah, anyways, let's go and see what's on here. All right, let's start out with these games. Here we go. You got three and one. You got your 1941s. All of them. Nice. So, if you see in the lower right corner here, there's a total of 450 games. You can absolutely open up some of these other... Um, files the, you know the little pac-man ghosts there's different ones that will allow you to sort through so you, you don't have to go through 450 games by the way the other thing you could do is hit your r1 or l1 buttons uh your little bumpers up at the top of your controller and that will jump letters so i would prefer to have all the games and then just jump letters myself but i understand some of you might not be interested in all these games now so this one is the is a fast version right it, it holds the the uh, game that you were previously on as you scroll. But I was just saying I really like this theme. I like the marquee. I like the different arcade cabinets. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, so as I was saying earlier, you know, they are making this build, the Legends build, that you can add more stuff. Like you can add your PC games. You can add additional consoles. It definitely is upgradable. And there's going to be some of you on Next 2. You know, if I was you and I was on Next 2 and you've already built it out, you have your light gun games, you got everything on there already. Uh, you know, just because I'm a little lazier, I would just leave it. But you can absolutely, like, transfer a lot of that stuff over. Um, they did mention that if you are going to add PC games, you're going to want Joy 2 Key, which is the application that helps you, like, uh, use keyboards and controls um, or vice versa. And uh, you just have to move it from the helper file into the root file, the root file being the main directory. Uh, what else? Uh, they said they did some optimization. You know, obviously we saw that with the fast versus the non-fast themes. Um, but, you know, I, I, I play this on a fairly powerful computer. On a, you know, my computer was, is only a year old. So it's got, you know, it's, it's, it's got plenty of power. Um, these, some of these fast uh, themes, though, and the optimization, you're definitely going to be able to see it probably on a, you know, an older i5 computer, something like that. Speaking of which, everyone always asks me, does this work for the Raspberry Pi? No, it doesn't. It is a PC-based build. I do know that CoinOps, and remember, CoinOps run on Retro FE. Uh, they are working on, or it, it might even be out already, but this specific build does not work on it, um, on that. You need to put it on a computer. 
Now the minimum requirements, I think it's like, it's so small. It's like a dual core processor and uh, you know, like Windows, you know, Vista or something. Windows, Windows 7 for sure, Windows 10 for sure. But uh, Windows 11, I'm on Windows 11 by the way. It's working just fine. Um, maybe Vista, maybe um, you have to check the, the file. I think it does, but uh, it says it in the readme file. So you can just read the readme file before you download it. So I'm liking it a lot. Um, you know, I did do a review just a couple days ago on a different build that was running Rocket Launcher. I honestly do, from from a like a upgrading perspective, I would way rather go with Coin Ops than something like that. Just because Rocket Launcher, it's just, it, in my opinion, it, it just brings in a lot of issues, especially for newbies. People who know what they're doing, it actually has like probably, you know, some significant capabilities for like some, you know, certain situations. But, you know, the coin ops is just so user friendly, you know, drag and drop. There's packs for it. seems like there's a lot more of, of a community behind it, kind of like similar to RetroPie or Recall Box. So um, keep that in mind if you're going to be going, you know. But remember, that build was much smaller than this build, half the size. Um, now, some people do ask, can I just get this build with no ROMs on it whatsoever? I don't believe so. I think you have to either get CoinOps Legends or CoinOps Legends 2. And then, but you can easily delete the ROMs off. Uh, it's not a, it's not an issue. Ooh, they got Primal Rage on here now. When I was a kid, this game seemed so cool. Like, the graphics were, like, amazing. And, uh... All the cool kids would play it because it was like a the older audience that would always i was super young so that it was older kids playing it love me some raiden raiden fighters one and two and jet see i think i would a lot of would have liked a lot of shooters but this was the one that was pretty popular in america that's why or at least it was in a lot of arcades and pizza places See, I don't know if I've played Rave Racer. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Is that a port of Ridge Racer? Or it looks almost identical. Salamander. Fun little game right here. So it's got your Mortal Kombat's. It's got your, you know, your Capcom games. It's got the Simpsons. For the Simpsons video snap, I'm kind of glad it doesn't start with the Simpsons. I like, you know, just show me the action. Get me right into it. Let me see what I'm about to play here. This game's super fun. And Smash TV, what a classic. Space Invaders. See, like this, this uh, cabinet looks awesome. What a cool cabinet. Oh, I went over. I went over to favorites. Uh-oh, now I gotta go backwards. So here's consoles. We are in Space Invaders. I guess I could just do this, huh? I can show you how to do the letters. So we are in Space Invaders. So we got... So it's that easy to, like, jump around. Space here. There you go. We're back. Like, this is a cool marquee, too. Speed Rumbler. You got Spider-Man, the video game. Splatterhouse. Star Wars. Stargate. The original Street Fighter. Hope, hope, hope. Look at the evolution, though. Look at between these two. Amazing. Then you got the Championship Edition. Then you got the Hype Turbo Championship Edition. Alpha 2, Alpha 3, Third Strike. Street Smart. Interesting how dark this game is. Like, the, it's definitely like the gamma is definitely uh, darker. Then you got some Strikers, Sunset Riders. Fun game right here. 
We got Super Contra, Super Gem Fighter. Super Hang On, you got some Formula One, Super Punch Out, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo Gems. Or what do they call this? Puzzle Fighter. Super Sprint, Super Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, regular, not hyper. TNK, Tapper, fun little game. Learn how to be a bartender. So like, this marquee is so cool. I mean, it's a little weird, but it's cool. Gotta love April over there with her camera. Turtles in Time, World Cup, Tekken 2, Tekken 3, Tempest, yeah, really cool games, Tetris, okay, we got Tron, and then we have, uh, Twin Cobra, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Love this game. Fun, fun game right there. Vigilante, Viper. All right, so we're getting to the end here. Cowboys, hella fun game. Uh, we're getting to the end here. I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Here you go. You got Coin Ops Legends 2. We're getting to the end of the alphabet, but remember, we're still going to have our uh, console games at the end here. And remember, the way this is all games, you can totally... Uh, so here we go. We're finally on... Uh, it's interesting that like this game says Sega Genesis on it, but Echo the Dolphin doesn't say Sega Genesis on it. Um, anyways, so it's Sega Genesis and uh, SNES games. So it looks like you have all Genesis games first, and then you have your SNES games. Ooh, this is controversial, putting the SNES Aladdin instead of the Genesis Aladdin. Um, really cool. You can, Like I said, you can add your own stuff, add PC games and stuff like that. But here's the end of the, the list. I mean, this is a cool little 20 gigabyte build. It'll fit on a little 32 gigabyte external hard drive or, you know, even a flash drive. You just put this on a little thumb drive, flash drive, and then just put it in a computer and be gaming. Like, that's, that's how easy it is in any Windows PC, any laptop, you know. So, a lot of possibilities here. Uh, love that they continue to work on it. And I think what, what, what what's going to happen next, I think they'll continue to make cool themes and stuff. I think they'll continue to optimize it. I think you're going to see a lot of people build maybe unofficial coin ops builds with this. You know, adding games to it and stuff like that, which I'll be happy to see. And, um, yeah, it, it's, it's super awesome. Um, you know, this is retro right these are all i don't think anything on here is newer than the 90s 1990 and, and under so there'll be builds you know with newer systems on it like we and gamecube and dreamcast and stuff like that i'm sure but uh for now it's it's pretty cool I, i'm digging it that's what i think let me all think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one